Okay, this sermon is entitled, No, Smoking Cigarettes Will Not Send You to Hell. I'd like to open up with prayer and then with a few verses. Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name, amen. Psalm 130 reads, Out of the depths have I cried unto thee, O Lord. Lord, hear my voice. Let thine ears be attentive to the voice of my supplications. If thou, Lord, shouldest mark iniquities, O Lord, who shall stand? Now there's this stupid retard who's been coming on previous videos claiming that smoking a cigarette will send somebody to hell. And his name is Abram something or other, and I've already exposed this stupid unsaved devil. Stupid unsaved devil. And see, anyone who thinks that cigarette smoking will cause a person to go to hell is not only an unsaved, hell-bound reprobate, but they're also an absolute dunce-cap-wearing stupid fool with egg all over their face. Because they actually believe that it is sin that sends a person to hell. And this tells you that they reject the gospel, they don't believe the promise of life as found in the scripture, and they have another Jesus who didn't pay for all sins. And see, when it comes to false gospels, rejecting the payment Jesus made for sins is a common thread. And it doesn't matter what the false gospel is. For instance, Roy's is a rejection of the sacrificial payment Jesus made, because in Roy's, the finished work of Christ is superseded by man attempting to eradicate his own sin problem. Then, of course, you have salvific loss, or the denial of once saved, always saved. They don't believe Jesus paid for all sins, because certain sins will send you to hell. And that's the issue with believing that smoking cigarettes will send you to hell. Now turn over to John chapter 1. In John chapter 1, we see that Jesus not only died for the sins of the believer, but he died for the sins of the unbeliever as well. It reads in verse 29, The next day John seeth Jesus coming unto him, and saith, Behold the Lamb of God, which taketh away the sin of the world. So every single sin ever committed by every single person alive has been taken away when Jesus died on the cross. The reason why people go to hell is not because of their sins, it's because they're not born again. It's because they have not passed from death unto life, they have not received the gift of eternal life. Turn over to 1 John chapter 2. It reads in verse 2, let's back it up to verse 1, My little children, these things write I unto you, that ye sin not. And if any man sin, we have an advocate with the Father, Jesus Christ the righteous. Now in verse 1, this is addressing believers. But in verse 2, it tells us that he is the propitiation for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the sins of the whole world. So sin is not the issue when it comes to salvation. Lewis Berry Chafer said it best, we don't have a sin problem, we have a son problem. And that would be the case with those who do not believe on Christ. And it has nothing to do with whether you smoke cigarettes or not. A person goes to hell because they have never believed on Jesus Christ for salvation. John 3.18 He that believeth on him is not condemned, but he that believeth not is condemned already because he hath not believed in the name of the only begotten Son of God. If you've always believed that cigarette smoking will send you to hell and that law adherence is your de facto gospel, then you are on your way to hell right now. But it's not because you smoke cigarettes. It's because you've rejected the all-sufficient payment that Jesus made for all sins, including cigarette smoking. So that's all I have. Watch out for anyone who tells you that you have to stop smoking to be saved. That is nowhere in the Bible. And that is not trusting Christ alone for salvation nor is it accepting the free gift of eternal life that can never be lost. And here's the thing. I'm not saying that we should smoke. According to Surgeon General reports, smoking has many adverse health effects. It can lead to heart disease, lung cancer, COPD, rheumatoid arthritis, erectile dysfunction disorder, halitosis, asthma, and the list goes on. But see, this has nothing to do with a person's salvation. And the last time I checked... Smoking was not the unpardonable sin. So that's all I have. Let me go ahead and close in prayer. 
Dear God, thank you for giving us your clear word. Thank you for allowing us to see what it says. Bless the listeners. I ask all this in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.